So in this opening passage here, we see how the Lord commands uh, Israel to keep the commandments that were delivered to them. Uh, But not only for that one generation, not only for that generation that came out of Egypt, but also that they were to instruct their children, their sons and their sons' sons, uh, to know them also. And again, not just their children, but their grandchildren, okay? The sons' sons. See, God expects His people, whether that of physical Israel in the Old Testament or that of spiritual Israel in the New Testament, to train their children in the Bible, to train the children the Bible, God's words. And not just the ways of the world, but His ways, God's ways. And, you know, as parents, we should reflect on this awesome responsibility that we have to raise children. I think when we think about, you know, the responsibility that God has given us, it's really a humbling experience to think about that God has given us this this new life. You know, when we have a child, uh, a a new life, a a blank slate, you know, an eternal soul, uh, the, the ability to impact upon the next generation. He's given us these children so that we can raise them for Him. And I think, you know, that, that's really humbling for parents to, to think about that awesome responsibility that God has given us. And, uh, you know, having children is not the hard part. You know, we're expecting number eight. It wasn't hard to have eight children. The hard part, okay, is raising our children to love the Lord, to serve the Lord, uh, to be that godly seed that He expects us to have. You know, Feeding our children is not hard, you know, clothing our children is not hard, but raising them to be uh, good children, godly children is the difficult part of parenting. And so again, you know, I think it's just, it's, it's, it's sobering, it's humbling to think that God has entrusted little children to the responsibility of parents and no, you know, there's no such thing as that perfect parent, you know, I'm definitely not a perfect parent. You know, kind of like what Victor said last, last time, he doesn't feel like he's arrived to be this perfect husband, that he can preach these things. You know, I, I don't think there's anybody that, that's arrived as a perfect parent. But God gives us guidelines in His Word as to how we are to raise our children. And that's what we're going to be looking at today.